And tonight, extras going for the gold at the Daytime Emmy Awards. We're up for Outstanding Entertainment News Program. Fingers crossed, Rachel. Yes, Nate, fingers crossed. And one of us up here actually already won an Emmy, so maybe that makes us one step closer to it. But you and I also will be presenting for the Daytime Emmy Awards. I presented for Outstanding Limited Drama Series, and you presented... For Outstanding Entertainment Talk Show. Yep, it is going down tonight, and right now, our Michael Corbett is down on the red carpet with a preview. It's the 48th annual Daytime Emmys, and we are back on the red carpet. We're doing it. A full outfit happening, not sweatpants. The men and women of General Hospital thrilled to glam up, get out, and go for Emmy gold. And you're nominated. It was such a beautiful surprise, I have to say. Fanola Hughes, Steve Burton, and Caitlin McMullen up for awards. The daytime soap alone earned a whopping 21 nominations this year. And it was the first show to be back on set during the pandemic. You know, the protocols were put in place, so I felt pretty safe. But Maurice Bernard, who's nominated for the ninth time, revealed he struggled with the shutdown. Why was that a challenging year for you? I suffered from uh, mental illness, right? bipolar, anxiety, depression, and last year was, uh, I went through the worst anxiety I've ever gone through. Yeah. And the, the beautiful thing about it is, when you go through something like that, it's almost like you have a second beginning. Their co-star, Kirsten Storms, has had her own struggles. She just revealed she had brain surgery to remove a benign cyst. GHS Cynthia Watros gave us an update. She's doing great. Good and she's on the road to recovery and we're waiting for her to come back. The daytime Emmys will be hosted tonight by the talk's Cheryl Underwood. It's where soaps collide with game shows, talk shows, and our show. Extra is up for a third Emmy tonight. I'm very excited for Extra. You guys are gonna win. I know it, you're the best. YNR's Michelle Stafford, who's reported for us, has her fingers crossed. So does our Rachel Lindsay. I saw the Emmy. I was like, can I touch it? Can I have no, I feel yeah. like I haven't been that close to an Emmy before. Hopefully this is a good year for us. Yeah, no, I, I feel like it will be. Tonight will be full of celebration, but it will also be a night to remember as they pay tribute to legends Regis Philbin, Alex Trebek, and Larry King. The bold and the beautiful newcomer Diamond White will perform the In Memoriam. What is it about doing the show and, and your cast and, and all that, that that you're really enjoying? Well, well, first of all, I'm just really grateful for the opportunity to be on a show that is hitting their 30, 35th oh, yeah. year yeah. anniversary pretty soon. It's like, what a legacy. Her show and others are hoping to cement their legacies with Emmy Gold tonight on CBS. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.